Hey guys, Tony kd 8 rtt just doing a tour of my new bedroom slash, uh, I guess, workspace. Um, I said I'd do a video after I got it all set up. I moved to my new apartment, so I thought I'd show it off. So, um, kind of what I got set up here is, this is one end. Got my Motorola radios charging, a lot of books, and my big old workbench. So I got this workbench off Craigslist. Uh, we got it for 175. It's a nice industrial. It's made by IAC and Industries. Um, it's metal with like a laminate top. Um, kind of, it was massive. Took it apart to move it in. Took a while to get everything set up. Um, but I'll do a quick run through, I guess, showing it off. So we got a little storage there. Um, garbage can underneath. Oh, you can see I got two computers down there. My DOS computer for programming with Motorola radios and a uh, other desktop server I have, actually. As for the bench itself, going through what we have, um, this is the uh, little kit I made um, for two meters. I showed this in another video, and this is exactly how I wanted to implement it, so it looks like it works well. My Lambda power supply. This is a little box I made. Uh, it's a precision five volt reference and it's, uh, precision, precision resistors, just to you know test multimeters and the like. Um, I'm actually letting the five volt uh, burn in before I trim it and tweak it, so I've got some time left. But frequency counter, uh, which I showed in another video, multimeter, which I showed in another video. Um, this is one of my scopes. It's a BK Precision 20 megahertz, uh, the 2120A scope, dual channel. It's a nice scope. I like it a lot. Um, this is one I got for free, actually. Takes a little bit to warm up there, but uh, yeah, and the scopes. Got my uh, TV. I think it's a 20-something inch. Um, this is hooked up right now to my server and the DOS computer. Um, I'm probably going to get an antenna for cable or for you know to watch TV on it too. Underneath it, I've got an old Kenwood. AM FM stereo receiver that was given to me. Um, I like this thing a lot. It's it's nice. It's older, obviously, but it's nice. I like the nice weighted tuning knob and um, also has an auxiliary input. So that's what this cable is. It's plug in my laptop or iPhone, whatever. Sounds great. Um, hooked up to these speakers, which are the cheaper speakers. I got at Goodwill for like ten bucks. So not great speakers, but sounds pretty good. Um, and that thing gets loud. So louder than I need it. Um, so, there is my uh, function generator that was also given to me along with the scopes. And here's the other scope. It's a Leader LBO 513A. That's a 15 megahertz single channel. Um, yep. Other speaker. Got my pan of ice up there. As for the bench itself down below, um, got some uh, spray, duster spray, and a some fire extinguisher spray just in case. Um, I got these these little drawer units to kind of use like a tool chest um, of some sort. So like this one's got tapes and adhesives. This has some various tools, multimeter, um, gloves, calipers, screwdrivers, wire strippers, soldering stuff, um, batteries, <coughs> excuse me. Got a little monitor there. Um, that's just terminated this VGA. I can use it to extend the desktop on my laptop. Um, what I want. Um, there's a keyboard and mouse to the server. <sighs> Here's my new XTEC, uh, what model was it? The uh, EX33, 330. It's, um, the one that won the EEV blog for dollar shootout for multimeter. Just got it. Just opened it up, played with it a bit. I like it. Got my soldering iron back there, some water. Um, that's a Hacko FX88. Eight. I don't know if you can see it. Um, so it works well. Um, that's the keyboard for the DOS computer. Actually, you see back there, let me see if I can get some light. Oh, well, this will work. Uh, I can't really see it. Power strip, I just kind of have set in there. Um, as you see over here, there's this nice panel, but you can buy more of it. It only came with one when I got it. But I just stuffed the power strip in there at a weird angle instead, since I had it. It's cheaper. Um, this light, you see, I mounted a little fluorescent light up there. Um, got a anti-static mat here, which I have hooked up to the scope. I've got a wrist strap too, um, if I need those. Um, that's really most of it over here. I got printer fan components. I'm keeping in here. 
other various radio and electronic stuff, uh, extra parts. Got a that's a heat uh, hot air gun for heat shrink and stuff. Like that a lot. And uh, yeah, I just got this set up, so things will obviously change. I'm sure. Um, I have a junk couple junk boxes in my closet. Um, they didn't really fit in this area, but. Yeah, I like my workbench a lot. The uh, the real steel was the um, that workbench. Uh, it would have been very expensive to buy new, so I got a good deal getting it on Craigslist. Got it delivered to me, um, and I like it a lot. It's a nice work service. It's, it's really big, which is great. Oh, another thing is I got so my apartment here is a shag carpet, and uh, so I got some cheap carpet laid out. I'm using a standard desk chair because um, I had it already. So this table will go up and down. It's as low as it goes right now because I'm using more like a desk than a you know an up, upright bench. So yeah, that's really it. And it fits all in my bedroom in my apartment and uh, takes up a lot of room, but I think it'll work well. Oh, this is a this is a little light also that I can use. So yep, that's my workbench. So let me know uh, what you guys think. Have any suggestions for it? Um, and uh, yeah, all right. We'll see you later. Seventy three.